Hey YouTube, this is TCA Gaming. So in this video, we're going to open up some of those packs that we got out of the Pokemon First Edition uh, box that was resealed. And the main reason we're going to do that is because I'm pretty sure all these packs themselves have been resealed. Maybe we'll do like six or eight packs in this video and we'll kind of do some more videos like that. Um, I'll split it up into different videos, that way I can get a little bit of revenue out of the videos themselves. If you guys um, haven't already and you want to watch the other video where I bust open a first edition sealed box that looked completely legit but actually had these um, unlimited packs inside. Uh, you guys could go watch that and share it. That would be really good just so that other people do not get hit like I was because everything about this box looked legit until I uh, was able to shuffle around the top two packs and look at a pack that was on the second level and see this little trading card, the red part of a trading card game thing. And um, I'm out of a lot of money for that box. So, But you know what? On the bright side, I'm really glad that I did not sell that box to the guy for 80 grand at the Hartford Regional Collectors event. That would have probably caused a lot of issues and tension between different places. But um, anyways, let's go ahead and open up some of these packs. I'm going to start with these two. These were the only two short seal, regular, like non 1999 2000 packs. I have no idea what to expect from them. I mean, you can see like that one has an obvious break in the seal. I brought scissors, but I don't think I'm going to need them. We did pull a hollow polyrath in the last video. I do expect there to be some hollows in here just because I'm sure the guy wanted to keep it as legit as possible. He was getting first edition base set price at the time. Um, so that compared to unlimited boxes was, you know, cra I mean, there's still a crazy amount of difference in that. So we've got Switch, Starmie, Bulbasaur, Magnemite. We have a Pidgey. Pokemon Breeders are rare. We got a Energy, Energy, and then we have a War Turtle and a Seal and a Revive. It would have been cool if that was uh, an error war turtle, but I highly doubt any of that kind of stuff is going to pop up in this video. Let's open it from the top as if you know, we don't know about that bottom part being opened up. All right, pack number two. We have a squirrel in pretty good condition. Maybe I can grade some of these PSA 10 and then get, you know, make $10 a card on them or something. <laughs> it's going to take a lot of work if I'm going to do that, though. There's another Pidgey, another Bulbasaur. Got an energy, energy, and oh, check it out, another Pokemon breeder. So not only was it just a rare, it was a rare trainer, and the same one at that for two packs in a row. All right, so we're two packs in. Let's uh, try out this dark Venusaur pack. These look like they were a little bit better sealed. I don't know if that's because they didn't try to open them up or not, but we'll open up two or three of these packs and see if... Uh, there's actually something decent in here. Well, then destroy that pack. Maybe on the next ones I'll try to just cut it across the top. Just in case there is. One, two, three. There's the fourth card. We'll put that back over there. All right, so we have Poliwag, Vulpix, Sandshrew, Pidgey. That's the third Pidgey in a row, and they all have like that, that sun line going down it. Bill, Lightning Energy, Psychic Energy. We have Kadabra. Magmar and a double colored synergy, not too bad. And for the rare hollow, we have Imposter Professor Oak. Ooh, so not too good on that one either. I do have some sleeves set aside. You know, who knows? Maybe we'll have some kind of hollow come out of this. Next up, we have a Blastoise artwork, and we'll cut it across the top. I've got some 1999. There was a, well, I think the majority of the packs were 1999, 2000 dated, and I'm hoping there might be some hollows in there. But again, I really highly doubt it. All right, so we have Drowsy, Gust of Wind, Abra, got an Onyx, Ponyta, Psychic Energy, Lightning Energy. Dugong, Magikarp, and Maintenance. Overall, I mean, at least he put cards in here that were in good shape. It wasn't just like straight energies. <laughs> so, I mean, there was some bright side to that. And we've got a Selectrode. So it wasn't a hollow, but it wasn't a rare trainer. So we're stepping up. Got us, a, got us an Electrode. It looks to be in pretty good shape. You know, I don't think these would do too bad at PSA. Four packs in. All right, let's try with this Charizard. Maybe we can get us some hollows. I'm wondering if you just put hollows in the 1999 2000 ones because those look like they were, um, they did have a pretty broken seal on them. One, two, three, four. 
Put that one there. All right, we're going to start off with a Squirtle. Maybe we'll get the Arrow War Turtle in here. Nidoran, Caterpie Switch, Rattata, the Arrow Water Energy, Psychic Energy, another Dugong, Poliwhirl, and Magikarp. So we had three Water Uncommons. Didn't have the War Turtle, though. And for the rare, I would say most definitely is an Electabuzz. That one is used. You can see it's got like little indentions right there all the way down that side of the card. That'd be a case of something that would not for sure get sent to PSA. Well, you know what? We might as well just keep opening packs for now. I, we haven't pulled a hollow or anything cool yet. I'm still waiting to see if we get something you know, out of the ordinary. And this one's like really tight. And I'll just split it open. There we go. So one, two, three, four. And like I said, the these cards look like they are pack fresh. It's like maybe they bought an unlimited box and just kind of went for it. If I remember correctly, I paid $3,500. And then on top of that, I traded a legendary collection booster box, maybe a Quaplus and Sky Rage as well. Maybe it was a blister box of a Quaplus. I mean, it was a lot of really rare now items, but back then it wasn't too crazy. It ended up being about $10,000 worth of stuff. But just to give you an idea, $10,000 back then could have gotten you like 30 Watsy boxes, if not more. The expensive stuff was like, I remember a Fire Red Leaf Green box was about 400 bucks or something like that. I used to buy the Team Rocket Return booster boxes for about $250. Let's see what we have here. Doug Trio. So at least we're getting some different rares. That's pretty cool. Might actually sleeve some of these up and put them back in my near mint bulk stuff. This pack is already open. Maybe this is one of the ones with a hollow in it. They, get, they just pick the hollows. One, two, three. Yeah, that, that thing's damaged. Like it's definitely used. So it's not a mint hollow, if it is. All right, we got Gust of Wind, Bulbasaur, Squirtle, Drowsy, Abra, Psychic Energy, got a Fire Energy. Oh, check it out, we got us a Print Dot Fire Energy. That'll make up some value. Got Poliwhirl, Jinx, and a Full Heal. And then for this card, it is a, another Pokemon Breeder. So what was that, three of these? I can't remember if we pulled one last video or not. And this one's in uh, not that great of condition. Got crud on it there. All right. I'll tell you what. We'll just keep opening until we get to at least a 10-minute mark. So we're at seven and a half minutes right now. So we've still got a few more to go. See if this one's open. It doesn't look like it's open. Maybe we'll run through all the non-hollow packs. I would think that we have a shot at some hollow ones in here. But we may not. I mean, I may have pulled the only hollow in that last pack. There's the magical clock going off. One, two, three, four. Put that to the side. So we got energy removal, Abra, got a Machop, Pidgey, Nidoran, Psychic Energy, Lightning Energy, cool little Pokedex, Kadabra, and Nidorino. This one we have Computer Search, another rare trainer. This box is turning out pretty good. Not, 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 not. Hoping for something kind of cool, rare. We got some of those 1999 2000 packs. Maybe we'll get something out of there. All right, one, two, three, four. This one, I thought it was used. We'll just, we'll put it in the very back. How about that? Since I'm not sleeving these up at the moment, anyways. Got Drowsy, Potion, Onyx. Bulbasaur, Star You, got another Air Water Energy, Lightning Energy, Pokedex, Seal, Kakuna, and Devolution Spray. We might have a complete set of rare trainers after this is all said and done. Two more, well, we've got three more packs for this regular. These would look like the long ones, and they were just snipped off of the top. Like I said, most of these actually look like they're um, they've been sealed, or they weren't resealed, but like they were just they're still in their original seal. So we have Starmie, Bulbasaur, Magnemite, we got a Pidgey, Poliwag, Grass Energy, Lightning Energy, Growlithe, Dugong, Haunter, and Pidgeotto. So I think, what is it, Dragonair that we're missing? And we got Electabuzz, but it was, in, it was kind of cruddy condition. Then we had the, then we got the Doug Trio, we got Pidgeotto, and Electrode. I can't remember if we got Beedrill or not. Maybe Beedrill was last video. Oh, this one was already open on the bottom. I didn't need to break the seal. One, two, three, four. Put that one in the back. Oh, 
It looks like Pokemon Breeders is going to be the very first card on this, and we're racking up on the Pokemon Breeders. Onyx, I think that's our first Charmander. Caterpie, Machop. I haven't seen any Pikachus either. Here's the first Arcanine. All right, and last pack for this video, and then we'll maybe we'll tackle some of these 1999-2000 packs in another one. And you can see already a lot of those were resealed. You probably just searched them for the good hollows and dumped them into that first edition base set box to reseal. All right, here we go. Some last pack magic. Got Vulpix, coughing, another Charmander, Sandshrew, Switch. Lightning Energy, Fighting Energy, Ivysaur, Maintenance, Nidorino, oh, and Doug Trio. So at least we got a, a decent rare. So you guys, there's our stack of base set resealed packs. We just opened them up. These were all the regular 1999 booster packs, original print, and then we'll go into some of these 1999 and 2000 ones, which who knows, maybe they'll have some shadowless cards in there. I think that one pack did, and then there was also plenty of 1999 and 2000 base set cards. Some of those are a little bit more valuable than the regular ones. So we could have done worse. It could have just been all energies that were stuck in that box. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be on the lookout for more.